it was the right decision to make, and it's unfortunate because when we grew up, you know, you could do all those things. You could leave your car unlocked and your front door unlocked, but that's not the world we live in today. With all the Friday night football hype, coming to a new set of rules in one school district. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. The Hilliard City School District is now telling students to leave certain things at home when they come to a football game. That's according to the district, and it's an effort to boost security. NBC4's Eric Halperin is live in Hilliard tonight with these new rules. Eric? Colleen, students can no longer bring backpacks, fanny packs, or straws. Homecoming at Hilliard Davidson kicked off with excitement. And with some new rules in place for students. Safety first. In the regular newsletter sent out to parents, the Hilliard City School District announced changes for home football games. The letter does not cite any specific incidents sparking the change, but says, quote, in an effort to boost security at our home football games, we will no longer allow students to bring in backpacks, string bags, or wear fanny packs. Starting tonight, students are also not allowed to bring water bottles in. Whether it be an Ohio State football game where you can't bring anything in, um, or now, unfortunately, high school football. But, um, you know, we, we have to have a zero tolerance because if we don't, unfortunately, there's a bad apple out there that um, could pollute yeah. the rest. With the new rules in place, students at Davidson's homecoming games still packed the stands. And parents we spoke with don't have a problem with the changes. And that's just the, the way society is today and the way things are. and. How charged up people are, and I think folks just need to remember to respect each other and treat each other with kindness and human dignity. Les Carrier's son is on the football team. Like other parents in town, he saw the newsletter, which also explains students will be required to be in the stands during the game. No, I didn't understand that, but I'm sure there's a reason. There's always a good reason. And the district is also reminding parents to talk with their kids about these new rules. Live and local for you in Hilliard, I'm Eric Halperin. NBC4. Thank you, Eric. And hours before the Hilliard Davidson homecoming game, the homecoming pep rally was canceled amid safety concerns. According to a letter sent out today by the Hilliard City School District and the police department, they had received many reports of students, quote, uttering statements about violence surrounding Davidson High School. The superintendent and police chief wrote in part, Today, the magnitude of these rumors became a disruption to our school day. For that reason, the homecoming pep rally at Davidson was canceled. There was never any threat of violence. The principal addressed the students to try and stop the rumors.